John, thanks for joining us after uh, the most disappointing of afternoons up here in Matros. Can you talk us through how you saw the game? Yeah, I thought the first half, I thought we were on top in the first half. Yeah, yeah, we scored very early in the game, yeah, good goal. Yeah, Murray's involved in the, the left-hand side and then uh, we do well doing that side. We get a really good ball across the face of the goal and Dan Armstrong was there to stick it away. So a great, great start. Uh, and we looked like we're, you know, we're going to have a, a really, really good afternoon at that point in time because we looked like the tails were up. Looks like we were uh, kind of left off, you know, from the Airdrie game on top. Uh, we, we lose a kind of world goal, which you know, I thought you could do with an actual strike from the free kick. The guys had a great free kick. We can maybe look at it might have been a stupid free kick to give away. We need to look at that, but uh, it was a great strike. And then. I think for the rest of the half, I thought we were kind of on top, albeit you know we didn't really have a great cutting edge. But I felt we were on top up to, up to half time. With the second half, we didn't really start the second half, you know, well well at all. Uh, we did defend a lot of free kicks that were coming in. We gave away a lot of silly free kicks, and it, it meant we were having to defend. And on one of them, we didn't defend, and uh, they set it down, and their lads reacted first to score. Uh, so two went down. We won the. You know, we, see, we hadn't started the second half at all, but they get back in yet. Kevin you know, took his goal really, really well. And at that point in time, you know, it was 77 minutes or so, there's still plenty of time to go on and, and win the game. And that's, you know, what I felt we, you know, having not started the half, I thought scoring the goal would give us that lift and boost to go on and, and win the game. Uh, but how we lose a goal from our free kick, it's our free kick, high up the pitch, played, you know, over the top of their defence, and the, the goalkeeper gets it and plays down the pitch and how you know we lose a goal from that situation is uh, you know that's it's really really poor and really disappointed with the goal that we lose the, the worst case scenario here we should be walking out with, with 2-2 I mean after that we've had a few free kicks ourselves Kevin puts one over the bar we hit one on target which the goalkeeper spills we know they to put it in Kevin's had another shot it goes over the bar Ewan Murray's had a header it goes into the goalkeeper's arms We've had two or three chances late on to, you know, salvage a point from it. And I didn't think it was a great deal in the game. There wasn't much in the game at all. Uh, and so, in days like that, when it's just 50-50, you know, they've uh, they have managed to get, you know, the win in 3-2. We've spoken recent weeks about uh, half-time and, and how vital it is to kind of regroup, whether we're ahead and we go again or whether we're behind and we need to, uh, to try and get back into the game. We just didn't seem to start in the second half. I mean, how frustrating is that to, to watch from the sidelines for yourself? Yeah, very, yeah, because when you're on top, you're, uh, or you realise your opposition's going to come into the game You know, at some point in time. But uh, you're looking to go out and start the second half the way that you've you know, kind of finished the first. And I, I thought we had been, we were doing well enough in the first half. Uh, that there was enough encouragement there to think that we could go on and, and win the game and uh, to, to start that way was, was really really disappointing because we allowed them to get a grip of the game and an initiative in the game which uh, well you, you're on the risk then of losing goals at that point in time because you've then got to match them at every, at every situation that crops up and from a free kick we didn't and so we then put ourselves on the back foot we're, in, we're behind and having to, uh, to try and get back in the game which we did but no it, it's a uh, you know, in recent weeks we have been in front at half time, you know, uh, Hamden, probably at Stenish Muir last week, were in front. Uh, but it's football, you know, you're not, uh, not going to be in front, uh, uh, you know, every week. You have to deal with every situation. So, uh, you know, it's disappointing that we didn't start the half, but we got ourselves back into the game. We definitely did. The 2 2 were back in the game, and it's so, uh, so, so disappointing that the goal we lose from our free kick to go for them to go straight down the park. It's, uh, it's criminal, it's pure pure professionalism really. What do you think the game was lost today John? Was it um, inviting pressure on top of ourselves with, with kind of dead balls? Was it uh, a lack of that extra half yard of desire? Um, these two things did uh, well, they're facts and it's a fact that they had free kicks which meant they put the ball in our box and their delivery into the box was better than what our delivery was in the first half. We had probably the same situations in the first half and didn't put in that type of ball uh, so they, with a good delivery they put in, they caused a bit of panic in our defence to a certain extent because it was really good balls in that you really have to defend well, you really need to be on your metal to, to defend them, which which we did for most of them, but you only have to not defend one to lose a goal. And that ultimately, you know, cost us them to have the lead 
to have that encouragement, to have a wee cushion, and to give them encouragement to go in and try and you know get more bars and, and repeat myself. And the fact that we got back into it, then that should have been another lift that we needed to go and kick on. And we didn't quite do it as well as I would have expected us to do it because from going to each, we give a free kick away within minutes right there again, just outside our box again, giving them again encouragement. Uh, so we, we gave away a number of free kicks and uh, that. You know they were good at it because you've seen the delivery put in. They scored with one directly, and they scored with one from a flighty ball in. So you know they they, they were good at that. And it, it's not anything that we didn't know. We we knew that everything that they did today was uh, was expected. What they did was expected. You know they played the ball in behind our defence. They made it difficult. They stopped their good players playing, or they tried to stop our good players playing. They did everything that we expected them to do. It's disappointing that we never done what we wanted to do for the entire 90 minutes we've done it for certain spells in the game but you know uh, as we found before it's, uh, doing it for spells is not enough There's a real pessimism amongst the fans who have uh, headed up here and those who have tuned into uh, Ray TV etc about the gap now extends to 13 points so I've got to ask you what, what would the message be from the dressing room? Well we, we have to stick together and we have to just keep going you know I mean uh, our brothers are setting uh, an un unbelievable uh, you know now we're going close to midway through the season and they didn't have to any real signs of them, uh, which I didn't even know the result because I'm not really bothered about the result, to be honest with you. Uh, I can't do nothing about uh, both. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a big gap. But the, the season will go till, you know, right to the end. We'll, we'll be in this right to the end. There's absolutely no doubt about that because, you know, I have mean, not given up and there's no one here giving up on winning the league. Uh, but each week that we don't do... Uh, you know, the job perfectly, you're going to come to places like these and every, every team's going to make it really, really difficult. I expected, what I got here today, I expected this and I think anyone else who didn't expect this, uh, you know, it's not realistic. I expected a really, really tough game and that's what that's what we got today, you know. Uh, so it's, it's hanging in there and it's staying all the way, you know. I'm, I'm still expecting us to have a very, very good second of the season and I'm no fussy if we go into the middle of May at the end of May to get up. I'm not, I, no bother me in the slightest. I'm not booking any holidays early. Uh, we'll be... We'll be uh, we'll be at this right to the death, and I have, I have no fear of any team at the bottom of the championship if it has to go that way. But I'm certainly not giving up and and winning this league directly. But there's a long, long way to go as far as uh, getting promoted. There's the absolute reality now that we must push on and go on a, a run of consecutive victories. Well, that's what we try to do today. We've, we've won three in a row. We're trying to make it four in a row. So it's, it's it's a continuation. You know, it's a development of the team getting better and better. Uh, that takes time. It takes work. Uh, we've shown that at times. There is no there's never ever a quick fix. We've got better, I think. Uh, I think the style of football is better, but uh, this, these are difficult games, uh, you know. And, and so uh, you've got absolutely no divine right to win a football match. You've got to earn your right. Our brothers are, are the ones who have uh, the ones who have really, you know, excelling to extremes, really. You know. Thanks for joining us, John. We'll leave it there and let you get up and do the rest of your press duties. Thanks. Thank you.